Okay, so this is gonna be part three to our videos, our, our question and answer video. Can you tell I'm getting tired? No, Jay's coming. <laughs> Um, let's see, where are we? How old am how old are you? I actually get this question a lot. A lot of people think I'm much younger than I am, but I'm 25 years old. Um, it's just good genetics. A lot of people think I'm 18, 19, 20. I obviously sound very young. Um, I look younger than I am, but um, I'm 25. Um, my parents actually get that a lot too, so I'm totally okay with that. I've never once offended when somebody thinks I'm younger than I am because when I'm older, they then obviously I'm gonna be looking younger than too, so. Totally fine with me. When Emma goes to school, will you let her ride the school bus? Yes, I will let her ride the school bus. Um, it's going to depend on where she's going to school, though, though. Do you have a will for where your daughter will go if both you and your husband were to pass away? Um, we don't have a will, formal will yet, but it's definitely something that I think is very, very important to have um, when you're a parent because you never expect anything to happen. But obviously things do happen that are unexpected and I think it's just really important that you have something um, in place so that your wishes for your child are carried out. Um, we have talked about who we would like to raise Emma if something were to happen to the both of us. Um, but we don't have anything in formal legal documentation. How did your husband propose? Um, my husband proposed, we had been dating for almost four years. Um, I graduated from college and the summer that I got back we were talking seriously about getting married um, and we started to look for a house we found a house that we both loved and it's actually the house that we live in now um, and we just kind of started the ball rolling on that um, later that uh, week end uh, we were on just our like weekly date and we went to one of the lakes around here and went for a walk and my husband and I are like the least cheesy romantic type of people you could probably find but we were sitting on the beach and I put uh, like a heart in, a, in the sand and I put S plus K um, in the heart and we were just laughing and I got up to take a picture of it and when I um, like I stood up and I snapped a picture and then I turned back my husband was on one knee and he had the ring in the box opened and he was like will you marry me and um, it was so funny because I like completely was stunned and I had like the wind knocked out of me and I thought I would cry but I was just like so overly excited and happy and um, I was just like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and I didn't even say yes which obviously was a yes but it was just pretty funny would you prefer to be a working mom or a stay-at-home mom I would obviously prefer to be a stay-at-home mom I don't think that there's any mom out there that works that wouldn't prefer to stay home I mean unless you have like a super awesome career and like a dream job um, but yeah, absolutely. If that was an option for us, if the financially we could do that and it was something that was available to us, I would love to stay home. Did your supply decrease when you went back to work? No, it did not. Um, like I mentioned in my working mommy vlog, it's hugely, hugely, hugely important that you pump um, when you go back to work uh, or else your supply will go down. So I pump multiple times during the day. Um, I'm going to have to set this down and grab Emma. Hang on. Okay, Missy Moo got tired of playing on the floor, so she wanted to join in. Um, what's the next question? Does Emma still wake up at night to eat? No, she does not. Um, she has off nights every once in a while where she will wake up and want to eat. Like last night, she actually woke up at 2 instead of 5 to eat, um, and then she slept past her 5 a.m. feeding. So she has a couple off nights here and there, but for the most part, she sleeps through the night. And she eats before she goes to bed, and then she um, wakes up in the morning to eat. Oh, goodness. What is your cleaning routine for her toys? Um, I don't have, like, any kind of solid regimen for her toys. Um, the sun's going down, so I'm sorry for the light. That's kind of weird. But um, I usually, like, wipe <laughs> like them with Clorox wipes or um, baby wipes or soap and water just, um, you know, as they kind of get dirty. The bumble was recalled. Will you eventually use a high chair? Absolutely. We're planning on getting a high chair for her in the next couple of weeks. We just haven't gotten around to ordering it yet. Yeah, we haven't. Um, she's outgrowing her bumble. She likes to arch her back when she's in her bumble. And um, so we're always constantly monitoring her when she's in it. But um, we definitely need to get you a high chair. Yes, we do. Are you trying to get mama's face? Um, what are your favorite must have baby items? I actually did two different videos on that. I did one for zero to three months and recently one for three to six months. So I will add the links in here for you guys to check those out. 
Um, I was wondering if you could give me some advice. I just started my channel a couple weeks ago, and I would like some pointers on how to direct my channel and make it attractive to viewers and make my channel grow. Um, I think the best advice I could give you is just be true to who you are. I think people appreciate other people who are genuine. I know that I love watching other moms who are just who they are and they're unapologetic about it, you know, like love me or leave me kind of thing. Um, just be who you are and just don't let like anything or you know a certain style of you do that successful emma charlotte my goodness um you know try to try to change who you are if it's not who you are and the kind of things that you do just be who you are and do the things that you like um you know if you're pregnancy vlogs i would say connect with other moms who do pregnancy vlogs comment and subscribe and i feel like that's kind of how um, you know people find your channel, but I never would have thought that our channel were, would have grown to what it is um, I'm so thankful that it has um, but I just set out to be me and if nothing else have the the stuff the vlogs and the videos for my own like documentation and, and family memories, but I love that you all watch us and you're so sweet and um, just make it even so much more fun um, Do you have any advice on pregnancy? I would just say cherish every moment of it it goes by so fast um it's crazy i find myself like thinking how how quickly did that really go by um another thing i would definitely suggest for someone who's pregnant is to have a journal um you forget all the little things that happen and i'm constantly going back and watching my vlogs and reading blog posts and um thinking, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that, or what was that one thing that I had, and just write down all the little stupid things, even things that you don't think matter, um, that you'll forget about them, and um, you'll be so glad that you did write them down, um, so that you have that memory. How do you balance having a full-time job and being a mom at the same time? <laughs> Emily Charlotte, you're so silly. Look, she's pulling my hair. Um, <laughs> here, you want this? This is like her favorite thing. She loves to grab my face and my hair. Um, it's hard to be a working mom who works full time. And I feel like from sun up to sundown, it's all about everybody but me. And um, it's just constant. It's a constant go. You find your balance. You find, <laughs> you find a way to figure it all out and, um, you know, find a happy medium. I'm still learning to to. To find my way, um, I'm getting better as each month goes on, but it's hard to find time in the day to do everything and you just kind of have to realize that you're not superwoman and it's okay to not get things done. Um, you know, you just have to pick and choose your battles each day. So I don't really know how I do it, but somehow you just do it. You just adapt to what needs to be done and I feel like as moms across the board, we all have to do that. So and kind of just deal with what's given you. Um, how do you find time for yourself? I don't. <laughs> um, during the week, I maybe get a solid 20 minutes to myself, truly, where I just get to do what I want to do. Um, you know, Emma goes to bed and I usually take a shower. And if you saw my day in a life video, <coughs> this is the stuff that happens while mama's <coughs> at home at night. I get my hair pulled now. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know. It's, it's funny because it's like, I used to think about all the free time that I used to have before Emma came, and it's crazy. I'm like, what did I do with all that free time, baby? Um, but I just have a little bit of time for myself each day, and then on the weekends, um, I'm not afraid to ask my husband for help. You know, I'm not afraid to be like, honey, can you watch her so I can take a nap? <laughs> um, and he's more than willing to because, I mean, he works, and he doesn't get to see her all the time either. So, and, you know, he's willing to help me out, but it's... Time for myself is a it's a rare thing um you know i appreciate t trips to target by myself now um so it's just a constant battle emma you're so silly um the last question do you you what do you use to edit your videos i use windows live movie maker to edit my videos um another question that i get all the time that's not actually not on here is what kind of camera do i use we have a P canon power shot sx 20 is and it has hd video and it's like 13 megapixels and i love it um i do want to switch to a dslr camera um probably you know in the near future once we have the extra money for me to do that but for now i absolutely love it it takes great quality video and really good pictures so i like it 
So that concludes our question and answer video. Thank you so much to everybody for asking questions. Of course, anything else that you guys might want to know, um, you can always leave them as a comment and we'll try and answer them for you. Won't we, baby? We sure will. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later. Say bye, Emma. Would you rather just chomp on Mama's hand, huh? Bye, guys.